Sifu is a martial arts game that takes inspiration from movies like The Raid, Old Boy, and Jackie Chan's Police Story, which leads to a super rewarding combat system that is both visually pleasing and mechanically satisfying. The story is simple. A man named Yang leads a group of people to kill you and your master in order to get a talisman that has healing properties, which Sifu, your master, was protecting. You are miraculously unharmed because you have a pendant that allows you to be revived until all coins are broken. I personally love this because it gives the gameplay mechanics an actual explanation within the story. Your mission is to hunt down those who helped kill your master and defeat them. This game has multiple endings, and I decided to get the wound ending and the vengeance ending. Sifu in Cantonese means a skillful person, or master, which ties directly into the title and gameplay loop. Following your master's death, you become Sifu, the new master of martial arts, and as for the gameplay loop, you'll have to master the mechanics in order to beat the good ending. The combat is very easy to learn, but very challenging to master, as there's a plethora of combos that you can learn, but early game combat will focus heavily on mastering dodging and parrying. You use the same button for dodging, blocking, and parrying, with the only difference being timing and if you move the joystick or not. You have two dodges, one evading overhead attacks and the other evading sweeps. You can parry and block pretty much anything other than yellow attacks that have to be dodged. There's a stance bar for both you and your enemies, and breaking an enemy's stance allows for a finishing move. Now my only gripe with this game is that performing a finishing move on enemies can result in them turning yellow and becoming double as strong. There are lots of ways to deal with enemies, which is the reason the combat is so fun to engage with. You can push them into each other, smack them with various weapons you pick up, focus attack, or parry them till their stance breaks, as well as just simply beating them into submission with a huge variety of combos. I have to say, the boss battles in this game are extremely fun. Learning their movesets allows you to demolish your opponent, even when they initially seem untouchable. If you learn a solid combo chain, you can even juggle the bosses, dealing huge amounts of damage. There are totems throughout the levels, leading up to the bosses, which allow you to upgrade focus, stance, weapon durability, etc. What makes totems interesting is that you only get one upgrade per totem, and the upgrades you can get is dependent on the XP or score that you have at the time. Since the game knows you'll die a lot at the beginning, you get shortcuts to the bosses, but through taking the shortcuts, you'll miss out on some totems. The other upgrade system is something you'll feel more familiar with, which is that each time you die, there's a normal skill tree for abilities and moves. If you unlock a new skill and have all the pendants broken, then you'll no longer be able to use it, unless you unlock it multiple times, which allows you to keep it forever. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it straight away, Sifu is hard. For this to make sense, I will have to explain the death mechanic, because it's what makes Sifu so incredibly unique. When you die, a coin on the pendant will break, and you'll age. Every death, you will get a counter, which adds up if you die multiple times in a row. Assuming you started the level at the lowest age, which is 20, 10 deaths is all it takes for you to restart your level. This is the way that the game is balanced. Since you'll only restart at the level you were on, you never feel like you're being punished too harshly, but your current age is based off of your previous level. This is why the game is titled Sifu. If you master the previous level, the next one's easier and allows for more error. As you age, your health will decrease and your strength will increase, giving a really fun balance to combat. The totems also matter greatly to the difficulty, because if you had the foresight to grab as many as possible in previous levels, then you'll likely either have a greater amount of focus, which is a cheap way to cheese all but one boss, or better, you've upgraded your weapon handling and your own stance meter. Totems can also reset your deaths, so if you have one or more stacked, you can have the tally removed. It will not reset age, however. Now on the topic of difficulty, I do have to mention that the final boss is insanely challenging. Throughout the game, you can use focus meter on bosses to deal damage to health and stamina. But during the final boss, it's literally not an option. You will need to master parrying and dodging to beat him. I don't even feel like I have to talk about this for long, because assuming you're not blind, you've already noticed this game is beautiful in its presentation. The art style used is almost like a 3D painting, and every single level design is crafted around the boss's colour scheme and theme, and so are the common enemies within them. My personal favourite is the museum, because it hints at the boss's second phase, and in general, is just mesmerising to look at. The camera will also sometimes shift to a side view, just like the hallway fight in Old Boy. This game has a lot of little goodies. Challenges for alternative costumes for after you beat the game, two alternative endings which require sparing the bosses and items scattered throughout the levels that give you little clues to more of the story. Sifu's honestly fantastic. I, I had so much fun with it. Um, I just felt like I had to make a video on it. It's now out on Steam, so if you haven't picked it up yet, I'd highly recommend giving it a try.
Just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody watching this video. I worked really hard on it, and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also, if you left a like, it does great for the algorithm and it would really help out with the video. Thanks, guys.